the greatest American alive. Men, I really do think there is a a vendetta. I don't understand it. Just a war against me, just being masculine. Like, I can't say certain things because it might offend a group of people. I can't say I don't like this or I like, just say it. I can't even say it. And then Facebook flags you. Uh, Instagram flags you. You have all these sites that just fl- flagging you for saying how you really see the world and how you really feel. That's dangerous. And hey, we got way deep in this conversation. Uh, Drew, I wanted to thank you uh, for coming to the projects, man. Welcome to the projects, bro. Hey, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Hey, I'm from South Park, man. Like, for real. Born and raised. So, yeah. I mean, me. for anyone who would ever ask you, like, why would you call yourself Project Daddy? I think that the socioeconomic positioning in America is more important than my race. And so if I tell you my zip code, you know exactly where I am. You know exactly what the, the, the medium income is here. And so if you tell me what your income is, I'm high, I'm Project Daddy, and you, oh, you, your suburban father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I understand your political affiliation. Thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> nah, man, it matters, man. It matters. He uh, thinks he put on some urban wear and a little chain that he identifies with me. Yeah. Hey, what's your tax bracket, player? Yeah, man. Nah, facts. <laughs> nah, facts. Nah, you right. The, um, black, the black bourgeoisie have declared war on the ignorant black person years ago they've used the exact same tools of white supremacy to put their foot on other black people's necks because they thought that that was how you're supposed to get ahead like they learned capitalism from the best capitalists and they capitalize on other black bodies it's beautiful you know <laughs> nah that's true uh class you know well kanye west has said this he said that what class or classism is the cousin to racism uh, and that's true. It's really, it's really more about class because we all, when we ascend to a certain place, we do tend, and I'm saying we, cause none of us are perfect. We tend to look down on others. That does happen, especially with black people, which is odd because most of us are from the inner city. I'm from, I was born in the nineties. I ain't go to no middle-class black home. May, maybe when might be that one aunt. And remember, that's because coming out of the civil rights movement, a lot of those kids went to college, got degrees and went to the suburbs. But many of us have some connection to the inner city. So the way we do tend to just uh, go in a different direction is is like we don't remember it or we don't have no affiliation to blackness in the inner city at all. It is scary. And we do use those tools. We pick up on the white man's bad habits, (laughs) never his good habits. We pick up on his bad habits. I love Barack Obama. I think he's probably he's a terrific man. He's a wonderful father. I'm saying all this stuff because y'all gonna get so mad at me. But whenever they want to do something really terrible, they put a black face on it. And how come the first black president ever is the person who ushered in the sexual ideology that's changing the nation through legislation? Like, and then for this this uh, Supreme Court Justice Miss Katanji Brown Jackson, she comes in and in her confirmation, she can't even uh, say what a woman is. Being a whole woman, being a black woman. For some reason, you'll take away your set, your identity in order to have some type of political affiliation. And that's wild. Like, politics is more important than you being a black woman in America. And I can't understand that conversation. I can't understand why any grown person would do that. Why would you do that, Miss Katanji Brown Jackson? I don't understand why we can't answer the question on what is a woman. By the way, Matt Walsh, what is a woman? <laughs> Daily Wire, go check it out. Uh, I I fucked with it. I thought it was a great documentary, and it's amazing that no one still in that documentary, nor after it or before it, in this political age of bullshit, have been and have been able to answer what is a woman. And I think that's re- I think that's re- we What do we say about ourselves and our country when we can't tell the truth? Man. That's what I'm really afraid. Look, you can say whatever, but what? is going on when you can't tell the truth about what is a fucking woman a biological fact who has was born with a uterus can have a baby or the ability to at least have a baby or the tools because not every woman can have children we we know there's some nuance there but we know what a what a woman is um you know what maybe we should start asking what's a man that's a very good question i think that's a terrific question but like they're we really don't have any political advan- uh, advantages to being men. Mm-hmm. We have real, like, really no legislative power of being men. Like, we're expected to do hard things. We're expected to, to hey, we're expected to stand up when there's an old lady on the bus. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I just worked a long-ass shift, and you going down the street to get a loaf of bread, I'm supposed to stand up for you. 
Come on, man. I'm a gentleman. <laughs> what's the social re- what's the social reward? Life is based on incentives. And if you don't incentivize the behavior, then why would I do that behavior? Like pat me on the on the head, you know what I mean? Most men are incentivized by vagina, but uh how do you, women don't want the average man who's doing just good things. She wants some type of uh imaginary man. <laughs> The, the fictional nigga. <laughs> Women are like kids, bro. Like, I, I'm just, look, I'm going to let loose. I don't feel like, and maybe it's because, hey, I'm, I'm a guest today. So I can't just, just let loose. <laughs> hey, women are like kids. They don't know. They just say shit. They can't match their words and actions. They can't do it. Hey, for instance, the WNBA thing. I know you've seen uh, uh, is it Bill Burr. I think that's his name, a comedian who talks about, hey, this was the time for feminists to shine and be in the stadium and wave and paint their faces and all that shit. They didn't even tell us when the All-Star game was. Like, They're, they're not even supporting a movement or, or an institution that they feel should be paid more. So I, I, I just think women just be saying shit, even in dating. This, would, this changed my whole mind, okay? When the woman said this to me, it changed my whole mind. I was watching the football game eating popcorn and i'm all excited you know what i mean i can't tell you what team it was i really don't care that much but then she said she loves watching those men run around in those tights and i got angry I was like, what the hell are you being running around in those tights and i saw the game completely different women are watching sports for the sexual sensation you know to fantasize about the six six nigga out there catching touchdowns and dunking a basketball she could see his balls through his jersey shorts you know what i'm saying and get all turned and then go to her average ass man and pretend like she's fucking a superstar, right? <laughs> but she won't be honest and tell you about her sexual. She won't tell you about her sexual thoughts because we like we punish them. We, we punish a woman for being honest. We we feel so insecure when she says that she was fantasizing about another nigga. You look at the thing and say, I mean, who's bigger? <laughs> He's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're showing here is that we can be balanced that we can also look at the world, I guess, in this subjective way and say, uh, hey, we as men sometimes do that because you're right. We do ridicule women for admitting that they're sexual. I want you to tell the truth, but it's totally up to me whether I want to wife you or not. Like with with all these things come responsibility. But yeah, you should totally be truthful. That shit don't bother me at all. If you're a secure man, you know that your value is is much more bigger than what's in your pants, is much more bigger than what's in your pockets. It, for all of us is what's up here and what can you, how can you lead and elevate that lady? Then you won't ever care about that shit. It won't even matter. So you're totally right. Like we do tend to do that with women. Like we, we, if they're promiscuous, we call them whores. Or if they like to do certain things sexually, we do seem to ridicule them in a way that men, we typically don't. Because it's disgusting. <laughs> hey, I'll deal with it. I didn't say the truth was easy. <laughs> and I'll, I'll try to empathize with you and everything like that, but it's disgusting. I'm like, man, what? 197? What? Dang. Dang. <laughs> yeah. I think the thing that women don't like is... They don't want to be judged fairly. Women don't want to be judged fairly. They need an advantage. Here's the deal. Who wants to really watch WNBA basketball? Not me. If you really, really love basketball, if you re- I'm talking about really love it, you'll watch it. Most of us want to see LeBron crashing the lane and dunking on somebody viciously. We all love it, women and men. We don't like looking at that. So the way to even the playing field is to complain and make some shit up and get paid for it. And that's just what it is. And women don't want to be judged fairly. All the while screaming equality. All the while screaming, hey, here's the truth. From a business sense, your business doesn't make money. We should not invest in it. We're not going to put more money into something that isn't. But you know what? I think you might have said this. I heard someone say this. Love and hip hop. They're watching that. Kardashians. They've made billions off of being Kardashians. That's what women. Women like girly shit. And and nobody ever wants to just admit this. Women like girly stuff. They like watching some bullshit. They like bullshit. <laughs> and, that's, and guess what? But guess what? It's billion dollar bullshit. I'm not mad at. Nope. The Kardashians aren't complaining that they aren't getting support from women. They're getting all the support they need. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.